Hi, it's Alison here from pathlesstrodden.com. Welcome to the second instalment of my barefoot journey. And I'm in a different place for this instalment. Since the last video, which was only about four weeks ago, I've moved countries. So the last video was in a garden in England, and this video is taken in Tuscany. I've moved to Tuscany for the academic year, and I've come down to the local park on a beautiful sunny October day um, to tell you about how I'm getting on with my barefooting. So if you watched the first video you'll know that I'm not a runner, that I've had knee problems and that I'm hypermobile, but that I read Born to Run and really was inspired by the book. I bought some Vibrams, I've now had them about six weeks um, and I'm still walking in them. I started with just walking but more recently I've introduced some running into my schedule. So first, let's talk about the walking. Um, it still feels really weird to me to walk in Vibrams. I have to walk slower um, and I have to make my steps shorter, which is frustrating because I can't get to where I want to as quickly. Um, and I think I really look quite silly when I'm walking still. I feel conspicuous. Um, it's getting easier, but I, yeah, I can't help but thinking I look a bit silly. So what I'll do now is just show you a quick video we took yesterday of me walking, um, so you can see what my stride looks like. Okay, so what I've noticed in my normal shoes now, I, I wear a lot of Birkenstocks in the summer and um, I've got a pair of Clark shoes, is that I can't actually midfoot strike comfortably in my normal shoes, it's just not possible. So when I switch back to normal shoes, um, not the Vibrams, I'm finding it difficult to walk. Um, I've got some Huarches arriving soon, which providing the weather stays like this will be great because I'll be able to wear them with more normal clothes and my skirts and things like that. Um, but at the moment, when I switch to normal shoes, I'm, I'm tending to go back to heel striking. Maybe not as hard, but I'm just um, I'm taking it easy. I'm not worrying about it so much, and I'm, I'm assuming these things will come and it, and it will sort itself out. So that's walking. Moving on to my running now, which I've started. I've, I've just introduced some running, and I'm being ever so gentle. Um, my partner's a runner, and he has come out with me, but he can walk and go quicker than me running at the moment, so that's how slow I'm going. Um, I've been warned that the Vibrams take some getting used to, and I don't want to do myself damage. Also, I'm, I'm out of shape physically, I haven't um, done serious exercise for quite a while, and um, I'm working on my form and how I feel and how I move, and I want to concentrate on that and not just go too fast. So I've done three runs so far. Um, and I've been running for five minutes, walking for five minutes, and, and swapping those over. Um, the good things about it are that finally I'm doing some exercise when my heart rate's getting up, because none of the other exercise I, I've done, walking or cycling, really gets my heart rate up. This actually does. I'm getting my heart rate up and I'm feeling warm, which is good, because generally I'm a cold person. So feeling warm is just wonderful for me. My legs feel warm and they stay warm during the day. Um, I've got better circulation in my feet on the days that I've run, which is something that's, that's again, wonderful for me because my feet are always, always cold. So just to um, give you an idea of how fast I'm running and what I look like, uh, we'll show you a video now of me running in this very park yesterday morning, a beautiful early morning sunrise in Tuscany. So when I'm running, I'm still thinking about the midfoot strike, but it's become a bit more instinctual in my running. Um, and yesterday I took a couple of videos of my feet as I was moving. So I'll just show you those now. I've managed to slow them down so I can see a little bit easier how the midfoot strike's working. I think maybe there's a couple of heel strikes in the first one, but um, you can have a, an idea of how I'm placing my feet from these slowed down videos. So recently um, I've been reading a book called Chi Running by Danny Dreyer 
and he's helped me to think a little bit more about my form when I'm running and I just wanted to share with you the things that are going through my head while I'm out running. Firstly, I'm trying not to bob up and down when I'm running. I'm trying to keep myself as smooth as possible and this is particularly because I'm hypermobile and my neck is the weak point for me so I want to make sure that when I'm running I'm not disturbing these vertebrae um, too much so by keeping smooth I can hopefully stop loads of movement up here and, and avoid any pain. I'm thinking of my core and my core being strong and my core being the thing that's going forward so as I increase my speed from walking to running it's my core that goes first and my limbs follow. I'm trying as much as possible to relax my legs, my arms, my shoulders and my ankles. Now it's difficult to say what relaxation means, I mean we each have an individual idea of relaxation, but for me I'm trying to think of space in my joints and particularly with my ankles I'm letting them flop more, letting my feet flop more like this when I'm, when I'm running. Um, in the Chi running book there's a great um, sentence which is something like um, relaxation is the absence of unnecessary effort and that's been going through percolating in my mind as I'm running so I'm not giving more effort than I need to. Uh, there's also something else in the Chi running which stuck with me is that it's your core that provides the power and that sends you forward and your legs and your arms they're just coming along for the ride so that's quite quite a fun thing to keep in my head when I'm running that my legs and my arms, yeah, they're just coming along for the ride, they're enjoying it. So that's helped me quite a lot. I'm thinking of space above my head to try and ensure I'm not leaning my head back like this and that I'm keeping my neck long. And as I move from walking to running, I'm thinking of just falling forward and I start to fall forward and then I start to run. The other thing that's, that's come in this last week is, um, has come from she running and it was the idea of your body twisting, your torso twisting around your spine as you take each step. And as I've got into more of a rhythm with my running, that idea has come through more. So I'll show you another video now where you can specifically see the twisting a little bit more, which was later on in my run yesterday morning. So it's really interesting for me to watch the videos of myself running. I think um, that my lower body looks quite good, looks quite fluid. Um, if anything the top of me is a little bit stiff I think, um, perhaps I'm protecting this area around my neck and my shoulders. So it'll be interesting to see how that develops. Regarding the problems I had with my feet when I first got to the Vibrams, um, I had pain in my little toes and heel pain on my left foot. That has completely gone, not getting that when I'm walking, which is great. Since I've started the running, I'm having a few teething problems. My calves are a little bit tight, my hip flexors I've found have been tight, and I've had a few niggles in my back. Nothing major, sort of to be expected starting exercising again after not having done it for um, quite a while. Um, but I hope as I go slowly, those will just ease off a little bit. So, everything in my life's moving very fast at the moment, pretty fluid, and I'm not quite sure what my next steps in the barefoot journey will be. And my work's getting busier, and it's turning towards winter here. And I have bought clothes to go out running in winter, so hopefully I'll be able to carry on with the running and things will progress slowly, hopefully. I'm enjoying it, and I certainly intend to continue. As I said earlier, I've got some who arches arriving and I've got purple laces. I'm very excited about those and how, particularly, how they might change my um, feelings around walking and how I react to walking because I'll be wearing those more on a day to day basis rather than the Vibrams. So, thanks for staying with me for my second instalment of the Barefoot Journey. Tune in to pathlesstrodden.com for more updates, information on barefooting and information on the raw food diet and my life in Italy. I hope it's as sunny where you are today as it is here today. I'm off to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you.